Welcome to this YouTube channel. In this video we are going to talk about the 7 relationship problems and how to solve them. So before starting this video like this video, and subscribe to our YouTube channel for future updates. Despite the fact that every marriage has challenges happy couples have learned, how to handle them and keep their love lives going according to Mitch Temple MS, marriage and family therapist and author of The Marriage Turnaround. They succeed in marriage by sticking it out dealing with challenges, and learning how to navigate the complexities of married life. Many people learn how to do this by reading self-help books attending lectures, searching articles on the internet going to therapy, watching other happy couples or simply trial and error. Here are a few common problems and how to solve them. Number 1. Relationship Problem Communication According to Elaine Fantel Schimberg author of Blending Families, all relationship issues stem from poor communication skills. She claims that you can't talk when checking your Blackberry, watching TV or scrolling through the sports section. Problem solving techniques include. Make time a real appointment with each other says Schimberg. Place the phones on vibrate put the kids to bed, and let the answering machine take your calls if you live together. If you can't communicate without shouting, go to a public place like a library park or restaurant. Set some ground rules such as not interrupting before the other has finished speaking, and refraining from using phrases like you always or you never. Remember that listening is an important aspect of communication, so make sure your body language reflects that. That means you can't doodle look at your watch pick your nails or do something else. What I hear you saying is that you sound like you have more chores at home even, though we're both working say with a nod to, let the other person know you're getting the message. If you're right the other person will prove that, because if what the other person actually said was yeah, you're a slob and you make more work for me by forcing me to clean up, after you they might say so but in a nicer way. Number 2. Relationship Problem Sex. And loving couples may have sexual incompatibilities. According to Mary Jo Fay these issues are exacerbated by the fact, that both men and women lack sex education and sexual self-awareness. Yet according to Faye who discusses the subject in her new novel, Please dear not tonight having sex is one of the last things we can give up. Sex brings us closer together activates hormones that benefit our bodies both physically and mentally and keeps a healthy couple's chemistry healthy she says. Problem solving techniques include, Faye says plan, plan, plan. Make an appointment preferably not late at night when everyone is exhausted. Maybe while the baby is napping on a Saturday afternoon. Perhaps a quickie before work as Faye suggests. Alternatively ask grandma and grandpa to take the kids to a sleepover every other Friday night. Having sex on the calendar raises your anticipation Faye says adding, that changing it up a little will also help you enjoy your sexual experience more. Why not have a little fun in the kitchen? Sex in front of the fire. In the corridor sex standing up. Alison Cohen MA, MFT a California psychotherapist, recommends asking your partner to build a personal, sexy list to figure out what really turns him or her on. Of course you do the same thing what do you find attractive in each other? You might be surprised by the responses. Swap the lists and use them to come up with new scenarios that will excite you both. If you can't fix your sexual relationship issues on your own, Faye suggests seeing a certified sex therapist who can help you discuss and resolve your problems. Number 3. Relationship Problem Money. Money issues will arise even before the wedding vows are exchanged, ranging from courtship expenses to the high cost of weddings. Couples who are having financial difficulties should take a deep breath, and have a meaningful conversation about their finances, according to the National Foundation for Credit Counseling NFCC. Problem solving techniques include, the National Foundation for Credit Counseling NFCC, provides the following tips for having the much needed financial discussion. Be open and frank about your financial condition. If things have gone bad maintaining the same standard of living, as before the loss of income is simply impossible. In the heat of war avoid approaching the issue. Instead schedule a time that is convenient for all parties and does not pose a hazard. Recognize that one partner can be a saver and the other a spender recognizing, that both have advantages and agreeing to learn from each other's habits. Don't conceal your profits or debt. To the table bring financial records such as a recent credit report, pay stubs, bank statements insurance plans, debts and savings. Don't hold it against me. Make a shared budget that includes savings. Decide who will be in charge of paying the bills on a monthly basis. Allow each individual to be self-sufficient by putting money aside for them to spend at their leisure. Make a list of short and long-term objectives. 
Individual goals are fine but you can still have family goals. Discuss how to care for your parents as they age and, if possible how to provide for their financial needs. Number 4. Relationship problem struggles over home chores. Since most spouses now work outside the home and in today's economy, sometimes at multiple jobs it's critical to divide household labor fairly, according to Paulette Kuffman Sherman PhD dating from the inside out. How to Use the Law of Attraction in Relationships is her first book. Problem solving techniques include. Sherman advises being coordinated and straightforward about your roles in the household. Make a list of all the positions and decide who will do what. Make sure that each partner's responsibilities are equal so that no animosity develops. Be open to other options Sherman advises such, as hiring a cleaning service if you both despise housework. If one of you enjoys housework the other can help with laundry and yard work. You can be imaginative and take expectations into account as long as it feels equal to all parties. Number 5. Relationship problem not prioritizing your relationship. Making your relationship a focal point does not stop when you say I do if you want to keep your love life going. Karen Sherman, PhD author of Marriage Magic says relationships lose their luster. It's all about finding it keeping it and making it last. As a result make yours a top priority. Problem solving techniques include. Do the same things you did. When you first started dating make thank you signs, praise each other stay in touch during the day and display interest in each other. Make date nights a priority. Make time for each other on the calendar just like every other significant thing in your life. Respect for one another is essential. Thank you and I appreciate are two phrases to use. It shows your partner that he or she is important to you. Number 6. Relationship problem, conflict. According to New York-based psychologist Susan Silverman, PhD, occasional conflict is an unavoidable part of life but if you and your partner feel like you're living in your own nightmare version of Groundhog Day, it's time to break away from this unhealthy routine. Recognizing these simple truths will help you feel less enraged and allow you to take a more objective look at the underlying problem. Problem-solving techniques include According to Silverman conflict resolution skills will help you and your partner learn to argue in a more positive way. You aren't a helpless victim. It is entirely up to you whether or not to respond and how you react. Be truthful about yourself. Are your words geared at resolution or are you looking for retaliation, while you're in the middle of an argument? It's best to take a deep breath and change your tactic if your words are accusatory and hurtful. Switch it up a little. You can't expect a different outcome this time if you keep responding in the same way, that has given you pain and unhappiness in the past. One small change can have a significant impact. Hold off for a few moments if you normally jump in to protect yourself, before your partner has finished speaking. You'll be shocked at how a minor change in tempo, can completely change the tone of a conversation. Give a bit and you'll get a lot when you make a mistake apologize. Okay it's difficult but give it a shot and see what happens. You can't regulate what other people do Silverman says. You are the only one in control. Number 7. Relationship Problem, Trust. A relationship's foundation is built on trust. Do those habits make you distrust your partner, or do you have unresolved problems that make it difficult for you to trust others? Problem-solving strategies, Faye suggests that you and your partner gain faith in each other by following these suggestions. Consistency is essential still arrive on time. Do just what you think you'll do. Don't lie to your partner or anyone even if it's a little white lie. And when you're arguing be fair be aware of the feelings of others. You are free to disagree but don't dismiss your partner's feelings. When you say you'll call, you'll call call to let them know you'll be late. Assume the full share of the responsibilities. When things go wrong don't overreact. Never say something you won't be able to take back. Do not reopen old wounds respect your partner's personal space. Don't be envious of others. What do you think about this video? Do let us know down in the comment section below. If you enjoyed this video and want to hear from us again, be sure to hit that subscribe button before you go.